Welcome back to our channel. I'm Danielle, your resident romantic. And I'm Lindsay, the fantasy fan, and we are friends. Till the book ends. Now, you can't see it right now because of the angle of the camera, but we have quite a few stacks of books that we need to get rid of because we plan on going shopping soon. We plan on taking you along with, and it has been a long time since I personally have gone shopping, so I need to clear out all of the books I don't want to make room for all of the beautiful new books I do want. That's right. Yes. As our girl Sharpay Evans once said, out with the old. And in, in with the, the new. new. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Absolutely. So basically this is just going to be an unhauling video. Lindsay told me that she actually ended up unhauling a lot of her books last year, so she does not have as many to unhaul. I probably have not done a massive unhaul in literally three years or something. So I have a lot more that I'm going to talk about than Lindsay has. I will also go through each one a lot quicker because I have so many to get through. Um, I... Uh, shall I start? Yes, please. I shall kick this off. Please. I'll do like about three or four at a time, and okay. then we'll switch it over to you. So the first one I'm getting rid of is The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rothenberg. Uh, this one was a nice read, but it was too young and teenagery for me. I also thought that it could have been a little better written, a little more well-written language that would have helped. Um, I can't talk English. It wasn't that fun, so I'm never going to reread that, and I need to get rid of it. The next... This is The Generation Dead and Kiss of Life by Daniel Walters. This is sort of a series. There may be more. I originally picked it up because it was supposed to be kind of like a paranormal YA. But the more I think about it, the more it doesn't sound like something I'm going to read. <laughs> and so I'm not going to hold yeah. on to it. It's just taking up space. And then the next one is Extraordinary by Nancy Whirlin. I feel like I've read that. Have you? Maybe not. Maybe there's a book that has a similar cover. Possible. I did talk about this early on in the channel. Mm, maybe that's it. That could be it. Um, so I talked about it. It really wasn't that great. I thought that a lot of the characters were annoying. I thought the setup was a little not well. And I also thought that some of the themes that were supposed to come through got a little botched in the way. So not going to reread this either. Taking it off my shelf. So the first book I'm getting rid of is purely because I bought a newer copy and it was hardback. Um, that is The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. I still haven't read this, um, but I ordered this off of... A or thrift books or something like that and the condition said it was in good condition and then when I got it it's in like crap condition so I was like I can't read it I was gonna comment I was like you say you never read it but that looks very well used it's, yeah I know it's like beat to hell right and it looks like, like it's got a little like in it right it's yellowed that? edges it also looks like lint is that <laughs> get rid of it get rid of it now so I bought a new and improved good. book thief so good. goodbye <laughs> Uh, this is When You Were Here by Daisy Whitney. This was a very depressing book, and not even in a good way where I felt like, ah, life lessons. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, crying. Yeah. Right, I was just like, why are you doing this to me? I will never read it. No, thank you. Uh, the History of Love by... Your favorite. <laughs> by Nicole Krauss. I talked about this. I wanted to read it. I was so excited to read it. I DNF'd it. Um, I'm not even going to say that there's a chance I'm going to pick it up again, because it's just so <laughs> hard to get into, yeah. so not even worth it. Immortal by Gillian Shields. I read this a long time ago when I was like 14 or 15. It was nice at the time, but it is such a young preteen teenage yeah. romance that Can't I know I'm not going to be in this mindset anymore. The next thing I'm getting rid of is No Fear Shakespeare. Uh, this was the Romeo and Juliet version. If you've never heard of it, the No Fear Shakespeare version, or I guess it's by Spark Notes, it has like the actual Shakespearean writing on one side and like a translation mm -hmm. type thing on the other so you can understand what you're reading. While I like Shakespeare and I like Romeo and Juliet, I haven't had to use this in like four years, so <laughs> no point in me keeping it. And then the next one is Sublime by Christina Lauren. This was a very nice touching one. It was a little wow. depressing in a nice cathartic cry way. Yeah. It's also got some romance in it. It's about a girl who is dead, but this guy sees her every time there's an adrenaline rush, or every time oh. he's close to death. A so, ghost. right, yes, I should have said that. <laughs> She's not just dead, she's a ghost. So it was beautiful writing by Christina Lauren, but it is one of the kind of depressing ones where I won't go through it again. Yeah. Okay. So the next book that I'm getting rid of is Mirage by Samaya Dowd. I read this last year and I gave it a three out of five stars. It didn't enthrall me. It didn't, it didn't bring me joy. The cover looks so pretty. The I like it. The cover is pretty. It's kind of this really strange um, sci-fi mixed with fantasy mixed with um, Middle Eastern inspired a world so I thought I was gonna really like it but it was just kind of boring it's like about this girl who um, 
discovers that she's almost an exact body double for the oh. princess. But the princess is like the world's most hated bitch because she is terrible and mean and awful. Yikes. And so everybody wants to murder her. So this girl gets <laughs> like oh, no. taken from her home forcefully to become a body double for the princess. And she ends up like falling in love with the prince that the princess is supposed to marry. Mm. Um, but it just was like pretty boring honestly oh. nothing exciting happened and the sequel came out and i have zero interest in picking up the sequel so there's no reason for me to keep the book even though it's shiny and it does pretty. look nice so and I'm the sorry. setup sounds nice i can't believe the author no. failed well, that if you'd like to read it let me know before i ditch it all right i think i'm good okay i'll pass goodbye bye bye <laughs> guten tag no that's hello <laughs> hello anti guten tag anti guten tag you're cute uh, this is Gamer Girl by Mary Mancusi. I hate to part with this one. It's a little nostalgic because yeah. it's, like, one of the first, like, you know, high school, middle school romances I read, and it, it was a very cute setup. It was set as, like, the girl and the guy are both, like, players online kind of thing, mm. and so you have real life mixed with yeah. some chat bubbles and cute things like that, and, you know, when I was this age reading it, I was also playing some of those, like, games online kind of thing where you have to work together to fight monsters, but I, I do have to let it go because it is, it's such a young age that, again, I'm not going to reread yeah, it. Yeah, you're never going to. It's more of a nostalgic book. I'm getting rid of Second Chance Boyfriend by Monica Murphy. This is actually the second book in a duology or series, but you can read it without reading the first mm. one. This was just very bad. It, I like Second Chance Romances, but this was just really dumb. And it was <laughs> it's like, bad. why are you acting like this yeah. guy? Like, you got the girl back and now you're leaving again. Like, okay. Like, you don't deserve it. I'm also getting rid of The Corner of Bitter and Sweet by Robin Palmer. This was also very depressing. Um, and I don't, I don't like holding on to depressing no. books if it's not gonna get me something good out of it. <laughs> and then Wake Unto Me by Lisa Cash. Also a middle school teenage book that I read mm. that I'm not going to read again. This is how long it's been since I've gotten rid of, like, mass amount of books. Because like I have so many school. teeny bopper books. Yeah. Teeny bopper. <laughs> That's what I refer to them as. Because it's like, you were great then, but I will not read you again. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right. What's next? Um, so this is another duplicate copy, and that is Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. I actually gave this book a five out of five stars. Oh. But I ended up buying the box set, which was mm. cheaper. It was, like, $25 for five books in each. Nice. Of these and that's pretty thick. $10. Yeah. So there's no point in buying each of the sequential books because it would have been $40 for four books instead of 25 for five books. So I also cracked the spine <gasps> accidentally when I read it, which made me upset. Oh. I know. So I... You hate to see it. I know. So I was very careful with my new copy not to crack <laughs> it. Um, but this was a really good book. It was a cute middle grade fantasy. Um, and I've read the second book and I really liked it, but I still haven't read the third because I suck. Oh. You don't suck in my You're world. Wrong. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> The next book to get rid of, mm. I almost hate to get rid of it as much as I hate the, hated yes. the book. So this is After by Anna Todd. In one of our recent videos, Lindsay and I mentioned how much we disliked this book, but it is very nostalgic yes, for we me. Bonded over yes, it. we bonded over this book because it was one of the first books where we really like realized the other one likes reading. Yes, we happened to start reading it. I was like, Lindsay, this is trash. What you feeling? She was like, Danielle, <laughs> this is trash. Can we talk about like every single crappy scene? And it's like. You called it our meat cute, and so I'm like, she's right. Like, she's I can't, I, that's like getting rid of a wedding ring, you know? Like, I just, <laughs> I feel like this was our, yeah. um, our first it? date movie our, ticket. Right, it's like our promise ring yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> first date movie oh, ticket. Oh, yeah. God, that's even cuter. So, I really don't want to get rid of it, but it's a chunky book. It, it takes up a lot of room. I'm not going to reread it unless we want to go back and be like, yo, can we trash this again? <laughs> Trashing our most right. rated book. Again. I will probably read the other books to trash it. As awful as that sounds, um, I know that sounds rude, but I wouldn't physically get the books. Yeah. I would read it as ebook or audiobook. Uh, that was the first one. I'm Getting Rid of 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I really loved this book the first time I read it when I was in middle or high school. However, I think it is a classic, but I, I will not go reread it. I also yeah. did watch the first series on Netflix, and I feel like I've gotten enough of it where it's such a unique book, I don't need to reread it to remember what happens kind right. of thing. So that is that. Uh, okay, that book was falling. Try Not to Breathe by Jennifer Hubbard. This was an okay book. Um, I liked her writing style, but it was also depressing, and it is not a book I reread. Yes. I have a lot of depressing books. <laughs> Good, goodbye. Get rid of depressing. Yes. Say hello to happy. That's cute. Say hello to happy. We should have like a slogan like that. We should get t-shirts. Say hello to happy. Say hello to the happy. The anti-depression. <laughs> 
Um, the last book in this little grouping is Dancing with Molly by Lena Horowitz. I DNF'd this book. Dancing with Molly? It sounds... It's about drugs, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I knew that's where you were going. Um, so okay. Molly, Molly is definitely one of the slang terms for, I think, what is it, ecstasy? Or <laughs> something like that. I don't even know what specific drug it is. Don't do drugs, kids. Yes, don't do drugs. Um, but that is why I'm getting rid of it, because I thought it was supposed to be a teenage book that involves drugs and where they go from there. Um, there's literally no plot to this. The it's first just drugs. If I recall, the first chapter is just, like, everyone partying, doing drugs, and I was like, okay, where are we, where are we going with go. this? Like, I see. So, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Thanks, I'll come again. Uh, so the next book that I'm getting rid of is Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. Um, I think I'm one of the few people who just didn't like this book. Um, I love the cover. It's an African-inspired fantasy world. Oh. Um, about this girl named... Mm, Era? Ara? I don't know. Um, who, I believe her... She doesn't have magic, but everybody else in her family and tribe has magic. Um, and she comes from a very powerful line of, I guess... I don't know, what are these? Witch doctors? No. This is how much you didn't like it. Where Everything's it? forgotten about it. Magician? Dean King? I don't know. What are they called? I don't know. She comes from a very powerful magic line, and since she has none, she's kind of the black sheep of the family. And this book was just, like, the first little bit was, like, intriguing, but the middle part is so boring. It's just weird, too. This is also almost a 500-page book, and it wow. just dragged. Like, this did Aww. not need to be 500 pages. And I thought that the, the romance was stupid, and... Aww. Just, the decisions that people make in this book are, like, dumb. Hmm. To the point where you're just like, that's not real. Pourquoi? Why? Why would <laughs> you do What are you doing? Yeah, it just was clearly, like, they were making these dumb decisions to set hmm. up the plot. Um, I, I just didn't like it. The second book recently came out, and I was like, will I pick it up? And I said, no, I certainly will never read the second book. I have no intentions of rereading this book. So, adios, muchachos. The next one is A Kiss in the Dark by Gina Sioka, Chioka, C-I-O-C-C-A, however that is pronounced. Um, this, it was cute, but at the same time, I was like, there's so much, like, all, all of this middle section did not need to happen. Like, yeah. I knew from the beginning what was going to happen, and then, oh, I got to the end, it happened. Surprise. Not going to read that again. I'm also getting rid of Remaining, Remaining, Romancing the Dark in a City of Lights by Anne Jacobus. Uh, the writing style was actually pretty good, but again, it was a very depressing book, and it didn't need to be that depressing. <laughs> um, the setup was really interesting, because basically it was a girl and a guy who are influenced by this random teenage guy, as awful as it sounds, to, I think, go kill themselves, because I think he, like, gains power from that somehow. Mm. So it was an interesting setup, but he, like, infiltrates their mind and makes them depressed, and it yeah. was not a good vibe. Like, I thought it could have been done better. So, goodbye. Goodbye. And getting rid of Quarantine, A Love Story by Katie Sicatelli cook uh, I really thought this would be cute. I read this within the past six months. It was actually oh, yeah. very lame. Um, <laughs> I did like the setup where it switched between each character rather quickly. It helped with the flow. Mm -hmm. But it's just a book that I'm not going to read again because the romance I personally thought was not done well. The next is Love Lettering by Kate Claiborne. Mm. I was so disappointed Oh yeah, you really did book. like that book. I was like, this gives me winter vibes. This is a, gonna be a cute romance. I settle in with a blanket, a nice, you know, hot cup of tea. I'm like sitting in front of the window while it's snowing. I waited till it was snowing. First of all, I was wrong. It doesn't even take place in the winter. It's in the summer. Which is, <laughs> which is not the vibe the anti I got from this, but okay. The cover. And then literally the male character, the male character is like talking to a brick wall. And I was like... <laughs> And yeah, people were raving about it. I'm yeah. like, what's wrong with you? Don't get it. And then the last one in this group is Placebo Junkie by J.C. Carlson. I like the concept of this. Um, basically, you're you're trying out a bunch of different drugs, for, like writing down how they're affecting you, and then you get paid for it. And the girl is doing it for a very noble cause, but it's affecting her in a really bad way. And it was also kind of depressing, and I won't read it again. <laughs> Goodbye, depressing. So, the next book that I'm getting rid of is another duplicate copy that came also in trash condition, and that's Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Uh, they did a reboot of the covers, and they're much cuter. Mm -hmm. um, and this one literally came with, like, paint on it. No and, way. Yeah. Ew. And, like, it's sticky. It's just, this one, it's terrible. Mm -mm. Terrible. People who are listing things a second, because I like to buy some of my books secondhand sure. um, if I can't find them. Um, for a decent price otherwise, mm -hmm. and this one just came terrible. 
Mm. So terrible. I was never going to read it. And so I ended up buying the box set of the entire series. Mm -hmm. It was like $25. And this book itself was like 10. So once again, a better deal to just buy the box set than to go out and individually repurchase the rest of the series. Um, but it's, it sounds really interesting. Um, it's about like different types of witches who can tell when you're telling the truth. And this type Ah. of witch is very highly sought after and somebody figures out who she is and then tries to like kidnap her and use her. Right. Um, and so it sounds like a good book, but it just, this copy was garbage. Mm. Aww. All right. So I am getting rid of Jump by Elisa Carbonair. Carbone. Sorry. Elisa Carbone. Um, this was a fine enough book. It was definitely a teenage focused book. Mm-hmm. It was very much summer adventure-esque. I need to escape from my parents. Let's run away together. Kind of vibe. Um, it was definitely a teenage focused book though. It's not a book I'm going to reread. The adventure was fine enough. Yeah. But I'm not at the point in my life where I'm like, God, I can't wait to get away from my parents and just go <laughs> on a summer like adventure trip. Like, yeah. I'm, we're I'm already like, moved out, so I'm 23. How old am I? I'm 23. Now we're um, like, can I come back? <laughs> when can I come can visit I come again? Visit? Yeah. Frozen Fire by Tim Bowler. This was surprisingly a really great book. And I say surprisingly because it was very much a thriller mystery that okay. had little to no romance in it, which if you that's do not, not sh- know me, jam. right, like that's not my shtick. But at the same time, I was like so enraptured by it. I was like, this this writing is great. I gotta I gotta figure out what's going on. Who's on the other end of the line? Um, but at the same time, I don't read many thriller, and I I don't know if I'd want to reread it because I already know the now that you line. know the plot twist, right? Yeah. So that one I'm gonna have to let go, no matter how great it is. I'm getting rid of something like Fate by Suzanne Colasanti. I had many books by her. I was gonna say, I think I used to like her a lot when I was in high school. Yes, yeah. I loved her. Um, she was like, I would say, to me, an epitome of like teenage romance. Yeah, a little bit of drama, a little bit school. like, yeah. oh come on, you guys belong together. Um, but like Lindsay said, it is very high school. I got rid of a lot of her other books about a year ago. I don't know why I kept this one. Um, I will not end up rereading it just because it is very teeny bopper, as I have said. And one more to be fun. Um, I'm Getting Rid of Matched by Ali Condi. I actually recently just read this, but it has been on my bookshelf for at least five years. Um, I read it. I didn't really feel (laughs) intrigued to go read the other two. Like, it was a fine enough book, but I got to the end and I was like, I feel like this was a prequel. I didn't feel like this was the first book in a series. So that, I have no interest in continuing that. Fair. Another one I'm getting rid of is I Remember You by Kathleen DeVitt, DeVitt Bell. Um... This was a fine enough book. I thought that the the plot was predictable. It was okay. It was a quick read. Um, I don't really remember a whole lot of what it was about, and because of that, I'm not going to keep it, because yeah. I would remember if I want to reread it. Um, so then, the last book that I'm personally getting rid of today is Baby Teeth by Zoe Stage. I have not read this book, but I bought it, and I regretted it after oh. buying it. It was one of those ones where I had seen it and I was like, oh, a thriller. Like, I was kind of into, like, the weird creepy kid thriller phase. It's about, like, this child who, like, really gets along with their dad, but it says on the back, but her mother, Suzette, stands in the way. And she'll try any trick she can think of to get rid of her. So I think it's, like, from the perspective of, like, a child. And I hate books set from the perspective of children. Mm -hmm. Um, And I've heard that this is not good. Oh. At all. Like, I've heard that it's just weird, and it has, like, no discernible plot. Mm-hmm. And I thought the cover was really cute, but I just, I'm probably never going to read it. And to mm. be honest with you, I already have no space. So, yes. it's got to go. Yes. Hold that up for me. Okay, so I am getting rid of these three by Maya Banks. We have Rush, Fever, and Burn. It is kind of a, not quite a trilogy, but, like, a character in this one is the uh, main like one in that one. And, yeah, that's what they're yeah. called. Yes, companion novels. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. You're always there to give me the words. I forget. (laughs) Um, It is adult romance. It is very smutty, um, which is fine. Like, I'm okay to go down that alley. (laughs) But this was just written in such a way where it was too much focus on the intimate times and not enough focus on the plot. Uh. And I was just like, porn, no thanks. (laughs) I, I would like a little bit more plot with them. One of them was <laughs> a okay. A little plot with the smut. Right, yeah. right, yeah. Um, one of them was relatively good, but the other two just turned me off from her, so I was like, I can't keep any of your books. Sorry, <laughs> honey. The next two are grouped together. I'm getting rid of Love and Other Theories by Alexis Bass or Bass, and I'm also getting rid of 99 Days by Katie Contugna. Contagna, sorry. You got a weird last name. Um... <laughs> 
Damn. I'm just spitting fire at this Apparently, point. Apparently, she just hold, no hold back. Well, I hate these books as well. Oh, so okay. that just so this is two of the books that I talked about when Lindsay and I did our Wine Wednesday video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Um, where we drink wine and wine about books, and both of these sucked. I DNF'd them the first time I read both of them. I struggled through them the second time. Both of them were the books where the entire book led up to essentially nothing, and the endings were like, all right, well, clean slate, let's start over. And I'm like, why did you put me through this, like, yeah. whirlwind? So neither Point of less. them deserve to be on my bookshelf. They don't deserve it. I am also getting rid of Confessions of a Serial Kisser by Wendelin Van Dranen. Dranen. Uh, I have read I have read this as well as Flipped by the same author. I really love Flipped, mm -hmm. even though it is more of a younger-focused um uh, audience. I still enjoyed reading it when I was like 18, 19. One of my best friends from high school recommended it and then I read this one and I just felt like this one was a little too young dramatic. Mm. Like I think she's like 13 or 14. Okay. And yeah. I was like, all right, let's just put the brakes on this one. I never I'll... want to read about a 13 year old ever again. <laughs> right. Terrible. Like I was, I was there. I don't need to be there again. Yeah. Um, so I'm keeping flipped because I thought that was a very heartfelt, cute book. Um, this one, just too much unnecessary drama mm. for me. Gotta get rid of it. Getting Rid of Leaving Paradise by Simone Elkes? Elks? Elkeles? Elkeles, cool. Lindsay met her, so she I is my go-to for that pronunciation. <laughs> I'm very jealous of her for that. Um, I read Perfect Chemistry by this author. Mm -hmm. Absolutely loved it. This book was super great. It's actually pretty thin, so I was amazed at like how much context and plot could go in it. And then the ending just like left me destroyed. And I was like, why? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> it, it wasn't worth it. And I, I'm pretty sure there's a follow-up to that one, but it wasn't worth it for me. Uh, I'm Getting Rid of Paper Towns by John Green. Sorry, John Green. John Green. <laughs> um, I read it. Someone gave it to me as a gift because I liked other John Green books. This, also the ending, I was like, we don't have to end like this. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm not going to read you again because I know you're going to kill me. Yeah. And then last, I'm Getting Rid of Nine Kinds of Naughty by Jeanette Gray. I talked about this in one of my vlogs. Again, it is just very sex-focused and not a lot of plot. And I was like, I need a good balance to know what I'm going for. Right. Um, so, sorry... I'm zero kinds of that. Thank you. <laughs> that I was have, a lot of books. I have none left. Thank you for sticking with me for all of that. <laughs> it's good. We are doing a book shopping video with us that will be yes. out soon. So yes. we had to get rid of some stuff. Yes. And I have two full bookshelves here. I have a half size bookshelf out in my living room. That is full of books. So I have many more <laughs> than what is on this video yes. to get rid of. Um, but I didn't feel like unearthing all of those out there. Uh, cool. Thank you for walking through with us all of these books that we're trying to get yes. rid of. Um, I know mine was very fast paced. I didn't go into synopses, but we would be here literally all day if I had to do that. <laughs> yes. Um, most of these books you shouldn't read anyway. My personal opinion. <laughs> so you don't need to know what they're about. Exactly. So we went through a lot of books. If you've read any of the books that Lindsay and I have talked about, let us know what your opinions are down below. Maybe they're the same. Maybe they're different. Um, maybe you can make a case that'll make one of us reconsider <laughs> keeping one of the books, exactly. you know? Um, we're always open to opinions. Mm -hmm. So thank you for coming along this journey with us. Join us in the next journey when we take you book haul shopping with us, and we'll catch you next time. Bye! Bye.